you're good. All right, y'all, what up, though? Welcome to another edition of SL2K Live. I am your host, Prof, back on the ones and twos with you. Going to do a little bonus coverage here tonight of uh, WR Select runs. we got the Travelers and the Roadrunners, so we're going to cut live to the action. Get right to it. Appreciate y'all joining us tonight. WR Select coverage, Prof, and my guy, Chris, Commissioner of WR Select. Appreciate you joining me tonight, Chris. Good to talk to you again. Good to be back in the saddle. What up, though? Yes, sir. What's up? How we doing? Uh, we missed you, Prof. We're really happy to have you back. I'm sure the whole community did, so really excited. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. It's going to be uh, low-key. Going to do the thing here and get back into it, have some fun. We got a big alley to Trey there. Nice finish. Roadrunners with the 5-3 advantage early on. This is Splash's team, the Travelers, uh, the home team that you're looking at here. WR Select season just getting underway. Of course, the draft uh, happening just this past uh, week here. Uh, Chris, you're heavily involved, obviously, the commissioner. Uh, tell me a little bit about just running a WR Select, your experience so far, uh, what that's been like for you as we see the early action unfolding here on SL2K Live. All right, so this is my second year as the commissioner of WR Select, and, uh, I mean, I really enjoyed WR Select. Uh, I think it's a lot different than uh, the regular WR Pro-Am because, you know, we do so many different things. You know, we bring five people in from usually five different teams, and uh, we force them to build chemistry and uh, win a championship. So I think WR Select does a lot of things and a lot of work gets put into it on the back end, you know, by me and Ev and Lux and everybody involved. And obviously uh, our draft was last weekend and uh, Snowbike Mike did an absolutely amazing job uh, on covering the Xbox side. And I'm just really excited to see how this season unfolds. So. Yeah, we're excited to watch it, man. I appreciate uh, Ev and Lux. Uh, shout out to those guys uh, at the courtesy of letting us stream there. Uh, matchups here from their league of course we're affiliate partners of wr uh, you can check us out at sl2k.wr-league.com uh, of course our affiliate website wr-league.com for all the wr coverage uh, select.wr-league.com if you're interested in the draft coverage or the draft league getting underway here uh, that's what you're watching now of course matchup check once again is roadrunners travelers got an inbound coming from the left side it's juvie Former teammate of mine, actually, in SL2K. So good to see Juvie out there running in WR Select. Splash is going to pull contested. That's way off. Hits the back rim and AO. Tax in the front court. Kick over to the sideline. King Zay is going to bury the green bean. Three-point bomb there, 10-5. One thing I'm relieved about to see in this game is I can actually make out the score. on <laughs> the little overlay scoreboard yeah. there. Uh, that's going to be a commentary issue uh, throughout 2K20 here, but uh, the team's doing a good job there, making sure their color scheme uh, is appropriate there for the matchup. 10-7 your score, 2 on that clock. First quarter coverage here, WR Select. It's Prof and my guy Chris, Jet Nation, uh, in the building. SL2K commissioner, WR Select commissioner, uh, making his way around the community to be certain. Uh, appreciate Raph. What up, though, in the chat? Uh, thanks for joining SL2K Live. Watching some WR Select action. Splash over to the corner. Got Young Fresh out of that triple threat position. Jab steps. Goes inside. Little ball fake back out to the right hash. Splash is going to go to work. He's going to bury that green bean. Knew it was good when he let it go. 12-10 your score. Good ball game early on here. 90 seconds to go in this first quarter. One thing I noticed early in this game is um, the newly implemented... Uh, Dribble glitch up the court by AODP, um, you know, bringing it in any way necessary uh, this year. It's interesting, to say the least. A lot of new stuff uh, to cover here for you. I haven't done a lot of 2K20 action, so I'm going to be learning a lot on the fly as we cover the SL2K season. We do some select coverage. I'm going to be 
observing some things that I've never seen in the in the commentary end of it. So it's going to be fun. Uh, happy to be uh, back doing this again with you guys hanging out. Uh, appreciate that dude Chris in the chat uh, supporting Raph Owens. Uh, what up to everybody viewing uh, this evening? AODP going to work. Top of the key. He's going to bail out. Over to Wade there. Back to DP. A little hezzy there and a reach in foul on Young Fresh. His first. Penalty situation here on out. Minute and four on the clock. 12 11 your score. King Zay going to work here. Getting bumped. Good help by the big. Inside to Trey. Good retreat there by the big fella inside. Miscommunication there in the coverage. Man left open and he buries the three pointer. 15 11 Roadrunners. Pretty good action early on here. Get a matchup check there for you. Big dunk inside. Hanging on the rim for emphasis. Mm -hmm. Exciting stuff from these select teams. Remember, these squads uh, just thrown together. Uh, well, not thrown together, I should say. Uh, but a new group of players running together in the draft league format. Uh, guys that are thought to have chemistry by the operating GM of the franchise. Uh, the way they drafted these teams. So we'll see how it all pans out. Got the commissioner in the building. You got a favorite uh, in this uh, particular season, Chris? Uh, are we talking for PS4? You can give me one for both if you want to go both, PS4 and Xbox. Oh. As you know, uh, I'm playing for um, Cuban and Tort this year, so I think that he'd probably uh, trade me if I said anybody else. But Tort. I feel it. I feel it. Um, now, PS4, I know that the Bad Apples are 2-0. and um, Road Runners are also undefeated, you know. Uh, the Travelers are now 2-0 after their win today. I think there's a lot of really good top-tier teams on the PS4 side. So I think that it's more spread out than I would say the Xbox side is. On the top of the league, um, the PS4 side is. So once you get, you know, top eight teams make the playoffs, and I think that five to six could win the PS4 side. So it's very interesting to see what's going to unfold on the PS4. So a lot of parody this select season. I've seen a lot of the GMs out there doing great promo work. Uh, you've seen some of the retweets maybe from the SL uh, Twitter feed. Make sure you follow us at SL2K Pro Am. Uh, all through the spring and summer months, we're going to be coming at you with season coverage. Uh, got a lot of cool stuff up planned, uh, so make sure you check that out. Also follow our affiliates at WR Pro Am League, of course, uh, WR world renowned uh, Pro Am community. Uh, 21 seasons plus on the PS4 side alone. I know they're going into the season 21 just now here, so uh, salute to WR and appreciate you letting us run some coverage here. Your select league. Big! Jam there in traffic and one. Foul on Wade. Absolutely lethal finish there. That's going to go on a couple highlight reels. It's 22-15. Roadrunners and splash at the line for the extra free throw. Green light. Knocks it down calmly. Just getting the second quarter underway here. Pretty competitive ball game between these two squads. We've got DP out here. we got Splash out here. Got an old friend Juvie from Triple Threat. A couple of years ago running 2K with Juvie. Just passing that 420 mark here, second quarter, 415 now. Splash cross into forecourt. A couple of crossovers. He's going to hezzy. Kicks it back over to Jax. Step back. Trying to get some space here. Defense pressed up on him. Going to go with the bailout alley -oop. Nothing doing. Trey comes up with it over to DP. Step back jumper, midi. That's down. 24 16. Impressive jump shot from the mid range. And Splash is going to go to work here. He's got 11. Two assists to complement his score line here. Going to walk it up. Set the pick and roll up here. Little hop step inside. Back out to the top. Jacks. Little hezzy crossover. Didn't have nothing. Files going to bail him out here and reset that clock to 14. Inbound from the left sideline. Appreciate you guys chilling this evening. Glyph hands it off to Splash. DP. Fast break opportunity. He's going to take it all the way. Reverse. Coming underneath. No good. Defense just got enough pressure there. Reach in foul. DP's fourth. Something to watch there in the second quarter. Inbound to Splash. Big airmail there. Contested J. We're going to get a transition opportunity in Wade with the big finish. Ten-point lead now for the Roadrunners. Travelers got to make some way here in the second quarter. They got three minutes to do it. 
Keep this momentum from building too much. Splash Rock in the cradle there. His pass intercepted. Baited by Trey. He's going up to Wade once again on the finish. Two-hand throwdown. 12-point lead now for the Roadrunners. Looking sharp. Travelers are really getting hurt with their pick-and-roll offense. Just so many turnovers. And the uh, Roadrunners are getting out in transition. And these guys acclimating now, of course. Uh, draft League format. So new squads trying to put that work in. Grow that chemistry and figure out their identity on the court. We're seeing the Roadrunners do a good job on both ends. Travelers got some stuff to figure out here. Splash going to work. It's going to lose it there to Wade. Another turnover. That's been the story of the second quarter here. Inbound from the right side. Wide open. Miscommunication on D. Trill's going to bury the triple. It's getting ugly fast here. 31-16 Roadrunners. This is feeding right into my plan here. I have one little <laughs> graphic thing that I was excited to share tonight. Hopefully we'll get to it. See if the Travelers can muster a run. Splash goes inside. Not to be outdone so fast here. Gets two of his own. 31-18 your score. Two minutes left in the second. What up though to the chat? And DP at the top of the key. Crossover. Trying to work that space. Goes inside. Friendly animation there. Helps him throw it down. 33-18 your score. DP with 11-4. Two steals. Strong showing so far. Splash with the hop step. Goes back top to Jax. Has he dribble baited? And Trey's going to go up ahead to Perez. Alley-oop jam DP. Nice fast break there, and it's getting nasty out here. The Roadrunners up 17. They've nearly doubled up the Travelers here. Minute to go in this second quarter. Splash. Trying to put the team on his back here. Pulls him to within 14. Got to get a stop or two. Stem the tide going into halftime. Roadrunners have looked solid. There's a ball fake. DP being patient. Ricochet's out of bounds. We'll stay here. Inbound over to DP. He'll wait for that screen to be set. Left hash loses it. Yeah, we're going the other way. There's a turnover that the Travelers could use. Big momentum swing here and get a two for one. Get another, get a, some momentum going into halftime. Roswell Travelers. Gotta love the branding. WR Select. Kick over to T Jax. He's going to ball fake. One on one opportunity. Waits for the screen. Goes inside. Contested layup. Gets a little half hook to go. Friendly bounce. They could use it. Get a stop here and talking about a different ball game in this second half. See if they can work through it. Free throw line DP. Little turn and hook out of the post. Trey with the big board. Kicks it back out. Two seconds. No good there. And that's a good stop. Good sequence of events for the Travelers. As they try to get their way back into this game. WR select Thanks. action. Thank the Travelers. To make sure you don't get that graphic off the night. Yeah, right. They're trying to keep it from being flood season here. We'll see what happens in the third quarter. Pretty impressive uh, five-minute stretch uh, from the Roadrunners there. Really putting the Travelers in an uncomfortable spot. We got Splash going to work into forecourt. Good opportunity here. Big three from the corner. That's Juvie. That puts him right back in the ball game. Down nine. Few possessions away. Nice comeback effort. Not going away silently. Defensive pressure applied. And they throw it away there. Costly. Trey hesitates. Goes back out to DP. Looks like he's going to probably get two for that. No, they give him three. Looks like his foot was on the line. But they do give him the three. 38-26 your score. Roadrunners push it back to 12. You are watching SL2K Live. Covering WR Select Action. Prof and Chris on the ones and twos. DP, alley-oop inside to Wade. And they get two back on the transition. It's been kind to them all game. Seems to be their identity here. Is some defensive pressure. Get out on the break. Quick opportunities. 
Splash with the blinking bar. Goes up and down with two hands on the double pump. He's got 18, 7 of 10. Very efficient ball game for the point guard. Nice hop step inside and one. Vicious throw down. Just been a very patient, methodical attack here for the Roadrunners. Out in front here, 3.43 to go in the third. You are watching WR Select Action, courtesy of SL2K Live. WR Pro-Am League. Started out well contested, but Roadrunners have had the pedal to the metal on both ends of the court here. Have maintained this advantage. Splash with another bucket. He's got 20 now. Inside to Trey. Good defense on the rejection there. Out of position, but still found a way to get it. Young Fresh going on the attack. Little hesitation move. Finds the trailing big man Glyph. He finishes with the reverse scoop layup. 43-32 your score. Still a ball game here to be decided. As we continue the action with three minutes to go. Perez over to DP. That's a green bean. As soon as he caught it, he let it fly confidently. Knocks it down. Big shot there. It was a fantastic off-ball screen and really an up-ball screen uh, by the... Uh, Good communication the, um, there. Whip pass inside. Finds the cutter jacks. Tomahawk jam. I like how the Travelers are playing. They had a little bit of a deficit there, but... They're working through it. They're trying to find their way back into this game. Been a little overmatched so far, but Splash has done his part. He's got to get a little help. They're going to get over the hump and make this comeback. Splash, the pull-up three, no good. Those are the kind of shots they need to have. It's going to be a transition opportunity. Big alley-oop. Ball never touched the ground, and Wade gets the finish. Kings A into four court. Got a nifty little layup there. In traffic for the two. Pushes it to a 19-point game. You know what that means. Getting close to that point. Flood advisory warnings are in effect for the greater Roswell area. Splash is going to pull. They needed that one. Had to have it. And he gets it. 53-37. 90 seconds left in the third. Crossover dribble inside. Righty layup, no good. Glyph with the board. Splash up ahead left corner. Good contest, no good. Rebound over to Glyph. He'll walk it back at the offense reset. They only have 10 seconds to work with here. Got to get a clean look. Splash walks it back top. They're going to look for cutters. Leaning J. Another big body rebound by Glyph going up inside. And down for two. 53-39. Stems the tide of the flood there momentarily. Trey inside buries it. 55-39. Been a one-man show so far for the Travelers. They've had some good contributions on the boards. From their big tandem. Perez wide open in the corner is Wade. Not able to knock down the wide open J. Perez with a nice rebound. And a foul on Juvie will stop the action. 23 for Splash as you check the box score there. But not enough help for the Travelers. Inside Trey. Contested layup no good. Rebound Glyph. He's done a good job inside. Splash over to T-Jax left hash. A little pressure there. They're flying around the court defensively. The Roadrunners just breaking them down here on both ends. Nothing much you can do when a team just overmatches you. Got the strategy and got the talent. Glyph 
Able to get the nice board there, but that's all she wrote for the third. Fourth quarter on coming, 55-39 your score. Five minutes on that clock. King Zay on the attack. WR Select Action here on SL2K Live. Make sure you follow our Twitter. Same handle. Catch action all season long. Show you a couple little clips here before we get out of here as well. Little commercials for the upcoming SL2K season. Hope you'll join us for that. Wasn't ready to shoot there. It was a nice dot to the corner. Trey cleans up his own miss. King Zay, full bar, knocks it down. They're all falling now. 58-39, your score. 19-point game. Jax has a three on the right hash. He's going to knock it down. The defense loosens a little bit for the Roadrunners. DP working that cross. Pull up at the top. That's a green bean. That's nasty. 61-42, your score. Here's Splash. Takeover activated. I believe that's Glyph. Trying to free up T-Jax, but he ignores the screen, goes right. Glyph gets the board and finishes. Trying to do whatever he can here for his Traveler Club. It's the Roadrunners just getting whatever they want. Timeout. We'll stop the action. 3.36 on that clock. Roswell Travelers Arena. Deathly silent. Is their team behind 17 here? Wade, crossover. Trey not able to finish on the alley. Gets his own board there. Long pass side to side to Perez. He'll back down his defender. He's going to go with the hook fadeaway. Ribs out. Interesting shot selection there. Young Fresh transition bucket. 15-point game. Get a little station ID there. Little bonus coverage of WR Select. Hopefully these teams will enjoy the perspective. Got Chris with me. Commissioner of WR Select. Commissioner of SL2K. Doing big things. Appreciate your time tonight. One thing that's interesting, I think, especially in WR Select, is um, what these GMs decide to do at center. You know, I'm a center at heart, but uh, especially in select, uh, do you go with an inside center or do you go with a popping center? Um, you know, um, I know we at Torque, we've decided that we're going to go popping center, but a lot of people, the meta seems to be like inside centers as both of these teams have. So I think it's really about like what your point guard wants more than anything, but it changes your offense dramatically if you have a popping center or if you're going to throw lobs all day in the pick and roll. It really just depends on how you're playing. Well, that's a great point because, you know, we talk about the draft format and you're not going to get an opportunity really to see what your point guard uh, wants to do unless you're, you know, discussing that with a certain selection uh, pre uh, prior to your team being uh, taken, prior to that draft taking place. So it's tough to really uh, figure out your identity until you're going in the season. I mean, it's a really tough <laughs> task for these teams. So it's an interesting point. You know, you, you want to pop, you want to roll, and it depends on the skill set of the point guard, but. You know, you don't really have an opportunity to see everything on the court until you get going in the season. You're going the day after you get drafted. So it's a tough situation. It shows a lot uh, regarding these coaches, these GMs, these players. So it's a good platform, good opportunity to show your medal a little bit in a situation very similar uh, to the Pro League as far as structure uh, is concerned. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think one thing that the Roadrunners that I just see glaring from this game is just their chemistry. I don't know if they played like some matchups before this or more rank games, but they just seem, you know, they're rotating really well when they get out of position on the pick and roll. And then on defense, I mean, they're just forcing turnovers in the pick and roll for the travelers. And I think that's the biggest glaring difference. And you'll see that all season, especially in select is who has the most chemistry and the best chemistry. And, um, but usually that team wins and especially in WR select. No question. Splash. Nice ball movement there. We talked about the chemistry. See it on display a little bit there from the Travelers of Roswell. Fourteen point game, minute left here. DP's gonna fire 
Not a great shot there. Trey gets his board, though, cleans him up, throws it away. Splash with a minute left here, trying to force the issue. Inside to Glyph. Back out. Juvie's got an opportunity. He buries it. Green bean for Juvie. Nice shot there. Some good fight here by the Travelers. Just be a little bit too late, though. I'll give them credit for the way they played, though. They got down big. They didn't hang their heads. You didn't see any quit outs, uh, which you sometimes see in those situations. Uh, Glyph's bailing now, just as I say that, but, you know, an appropriate time uh, with 30 seconds left here in this one. DP's going to finish there. Inside sources telling me that Ev, the um, um, Ev of WR might be loading up into a game to play the Roadrunner. Oh, okay. Might get another game here for you guys. So we'll take a little break here. Uh, we'll see if we can get more action for you, continue the stream. Uh, that was our primary matchup we were going to cover here for you this evening, the Travelers and the Roadrunners. Uh, just get some work in on the ones and twos for you. Uh, heck, give these teams something to look at, uh, some interesting uh, perspective on their game, uh, enhance the experience for their league. We're going to do the same thing uh, for SL2K Season 7 coming up real soon. It's going to start uh, all through the spring here. Our registration is going to begin on the 14th. Uh, so make sure you keep it locked at SL2K Prime for that. We're going to take a quick break. I'll show you commercial real quick here. And we'll be back, hopefully, with more WR Select action All right, right after this. This is Prof and Chris on the ones and twos. What up, though? Okay, we got Primo on them cuts, we got Pino in them cups, contraband and quarter panels, four or five kilos by the struts, put your faith in mortal man and he shall terrorize your trust, shots are ever clear of nothing just to sterilize the Dutch, sink an entire empire with my placebo methods, rebuild an entire empire with my tuxedo measurements. 
I'm the lyrical audio version of Mona Lisa recorded the tape though Mama didn't give birth to me, she just aborted the golden ratio Look here, y'all should come procreate with a winner If I should catch a fade with an earthquake, I make it a tremor I'm cold enough to go on a date with the 8th of December When I'm finished, make the rest of the winter pay for the dinner, nigga We collect bones where blood is drawn and slugs is blown Nigga, we catch bodies where drugs is thrown here for the throne Look, wifey realer than Lauren London on the corner hustling like a DJ Detroit party when step in the name of love is on. Come to the block and make the papers. Come to the block. Come to the block and make the papers. Kids hustle on the block. No block. Come to the block and make the papers. My theme. All right, y'all, back on the ones and twos. It's your boy, Prof. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. We had a little WR Select coverage going on here. Uh, travelers uh, showing some metal, uh, but weren't able to get the win over the Roadrunners. Roadrunners uh, victorious in that matchup. Uh, convincing fashion. Uh, nice game all around for that squad. Uh, finding its chemistry early on. I just wanted to touch base a little bit about SL2K Season 7 coming up here. Got my guy Chris on the ones and twos. Unfortunately, doesn't look like we have another select matchup on tap, so we're going to call it uh, as far as the action is concerned. But make sure you keep it locked at SL2K Pro-Am on Twitter. Season 7 coming real soon. Registration coming the 14th. Uh, we try to operate on a certain schedule uh, conducive to activity, so that's the way we're going to approach Season 7. Uh, you can check the rule book for the latest info. Uh, and a lot going on uh, for the upcoming season in terms of content. Uh, got Chris and Reflex coming back. Uh, to assume the same structure we had in place. Uh, I'm just going to be overseeing things once again, uh, back in my chair there, uh, spending my time uh, dedicating myself to making SL the best it can be. Uh, so I hope everybody will join us for that. Uh, looking forward to having an active league to sink my teeth into and uh, do some great content for you guys. Uh, so, Chris, you with me there, man? You still with me? Yes, sir, I'm here. All right, cool, man. Anything you want to add as far as uh, SL2K is concerned, Season 7 uh, coming up? I'll say what up, though, to the chat. Appreciate you guys kicking it. Uh, we could talk a little bit here about Season 7 before we get out of here. Uh, Chris, if there's anything you want to touch on specifically. um, We're staying free. Uh, I know that that's something that I know a lot of people might be asking and wondering, but, um, yeah, we are going to stay free. Um, now, um, I'm really excited. You know, it's going to be the same format as we've had all our other seasons. Um, I'm really excited. You know, SL2K, you know, you started it and um, grew it, and then, you know, I took over what season three or season four and since then when we've worked together and you know the brand's just taken off and i'm just excited to know that you know a couple seasons three seasons ago we'd have 30 teams and we were really excited and now especially now you know yeah. we're gonna have teams on each console and i'm just really looking forward to you know i said i said you know last season and the season before that that sl2k is my home and it really is because this is where i started everything and i'll always have a special heart for SL2K and what we want to bring to the community. So, Yeah, no doubt. If, if there's uh, anything I would add, I would say just, like, we're not going to try to recreate any kind of, like, magic that we had or anything like that. Like, I just feel like we can do uh, some cool stuff. Uh, I got some – I made some investments in some cool content uh, things that we can do. Uh, so I think we can bring everybody a really fun uh, and immersive league, and that was the whole idea from the get-go. I want to encourage teams of all competitive tiers and levels uh, to participate. Uh, if you're new to 2K, uh, you want to play in a league, a uh, structured environment, you got nothing to lose. It's free to enter, uh, so make sure you check it out. A good opportunity to grow. Uh, we've seen also teams like uh, Mind Control uh, kind of climb their way uh, out of the mud, as they say, as the kids say these days. Uh, they climb their way out of the mud, and they won the King of the Reed uh, at the end of 19th. So, I mean, that was really cool to see a former SL champ team that kind of came up uh, through our league uh, make some, you know, do some damage, uh, make a dent in the uh comp community so that was cool uh but looking forward like i said to running uh, season seven on both consoles make sure you watch out for the sign up uh, registration coming up real soon i uh, appreciate evan lux uh, being courteous enough to let me uh lick my chops on some uh wr select action do a little play-by-play -play, uh, knock the rust off a little bit look forward to these streams uh, all season long uh, we will be back at you uh, coming live real loose uh, play some music for you i'm gonna get piff in here we're gonna talk uh, some hoops, talk some music, uh, you know, whatever you guys want to chill and uh, chat about. Have some fun streams, watch some 2K. So hope you guys will join us. Uh, appreciate your time tonight. Uh, have, hope everybody has a safe and good evening. Uh, we'll be back uh, live uh, with more SL2K, more WR Select uh, coming real soon. Have a good night. Peace.